Hey everyone, Cogito 1.1 is now out. This release is the official update for Godot Engine 4.4. As always, make sure to back up your project first, update Godot Engine next, and then I recommend pulling the latest version of Cogito from GitHub. What's new? To work with Godot 4.4, we've changed the world environment a little bit, so now the demo scene looks a little bit different. Cogito works better with Jolt Physics, so we recommend switching your project to this as well. The default Cogito project is already set up to support Jolt. Setting open and closed rotation positions on doors has now been improved. Due to this change, you have to update any existing rotation-based doors in your project. Cogito objects can now have a display name. If your object has a pickup component, you can also set the display name based on the item resource which makes updating and localizing easier. Interactions can now check for attributes. This means you can require the player to meet certain attribute criteria for an interaction to work. You have the option to show hints if the player fails or succeeds, or hide an interaction completely if the player doesn't meet the attribute requirements. Cogito 1.1 also includes bug fixes and improvements for safe states, scene transitions, and options and settings. A big thank you to all contributors who helped fix stuff and flag issues. The usual disclaimer still applies. If you run into problems, please open an issue on GitHub. One more thing. Check out the game Clean Twin. Developer Mathieu used Cogito as a base and built his own game on top of it. It is really inspiring to see how Cogito can be used and modified, so go and check it out. The game demo is now available on Steam.